In the last tutorial, we imported our first component and applied a fixed constraint to it. Now let's import the bearing housing part into the assembly. To do this, use the same drag and drop technique you used for the angle bracket. The part will appear inside the angle bracket at the origin. To move this part out of the way, drag and drop the compass onto one of the faces of the bearing housing. It should turn green. Using one of the planes, simply drag the part away to a suitable location as shown. Now it is time to add some constraints. Firstly, use the coincidence constraint tool to align the top holes of the angle bracket and the bearing housing. You may find that it's a bit tricky to find the center lines of the holes. If so, zoom in on the hole a little. This ought to help. Next, apply a contact constraint between the top plate and the circular protruding face of the bearing housing's top hole. To make sure the bearing housing is properly aligned, you need to constrain the other two holes in the same way. Use the coincidence constraint to align the holes of the top plate and the bearing housing. Then use the contact constraints in the same way as before. Whilst you have been adding these constraints, you may have noticed that small symbols linked by lines appear. These are visual representations of the constraints applied, and they can be deleted. Lastly, update the product using the tool shown on screen. If you have managed to apply the constraints correctly, it should look like this. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial.